welcome back once again into the second presentation of algebra. In the previous video lesson, we hit a bit, we talk about what is algebra and we try to understand that. And in this presentation, I'm going to start uh, officially uh, algebra 1. So, this is a very, very first lesson of the algebra, and here you're going to uh, you're going to learn variables and what is algebraic expressions, okay? We'll try to understand that. Suppose uh, I want to make L with the help of matchstick. I need two matchstick for that, right? Similarly, let's say uh, you want to also make L, but you want to make 2L. So for that, you need four matchstick, right? Uh, let's say our friend Michael wants to make again some L. Let's say 3L. So he needs 2, 2, 2, 6L and so on right so now let's try to understand the relationship uh, between the number of L and number of matchsticks in the first column I'm going to write the number of L's and in the second column I'm going to write the number of matchsticks we required for that so as you can see to make this one L we required one and two matchsticks right so the number of L is one and number of matchsticks we required is two similarly if you take a look on these two L then we made 2L but we required 1, 2, 3, 4, right? 4 matchstick. In the similar way, we here made 3L, right? And then 2, 2, 2, right? So we made 3L and we required 6. And this will keep going on, right? Like this, you know? Like this, okay? So now, what is the relationship? Let's try to make a relationship between the L and number of matchstick so that we can predict the number of matchstick required for any number of L we need in future, right? Let's say your 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 dad asked, "Hey, buddy, uh, how many matchstick we required if you want to make a uh, 500 L?" So how are you gonna find out that? Mm -hmm. So let's try to let's try to see the the relationship here, okay? So if I'm writing here one, I'm writing here two, right? I mean, number of matchstick is two. So if, if, if I need 2, I need 4. If I need 3L, I need 6 matchsticks. So in the same way, if I need, uh, if I need uh, you know, any number, you know, whatever it is, I just have to multiply that number by 2, you know. If, if, if I need n number of Ls, then the total matchsticks required will be 2 times n, right? So number of matchstick required equals to two times number of L's so two times that number of L I don't know how much you need okay so for a while let's say I'm giving this a uh, 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 value of n okay so n here represents number of L required which is not fixed right which is not constant you may need 100 you may need 2 you may need 10 you may need 15 okay so this is not fixed okay so number of Match sticks required. You can also write like two n. Okay, some some people also write two and then small dot and n. And you can simply write two n. So anything is possible. Okay, two times n, two times n, two n. That all represents two multiplication n. Okay. Now, my dear friend, this rule is very very powerful. With this rule, you can tell me how many number of match sticks you require, even for uh, ten thousand uh, ten thousand l. Okay. If you, if you if you need to make 10,000 L like this then you can easily tell me with the help of this rule you know so that time when when you need uh, when number of L will be 10,000 you know that time n will be 10,000 okay so therefore number of match sticks required will be uh, 2 times in the place of n I will write 10,000 which means 20,000 okay so here what did you see this n you know this is not fixed this is changing according to the number of l we need so number of l we need that means n and it is changing continuously so in algebra the thing that changes continuously we most of the time represent by an alphabet okay and that alphabet whose value continuously varies continuously changes is called variable okay keep this in mind this is called variable uh, in the name itself it is written you know variable which is changing all the time okay and the expression that we we make you know like like 2n this is called algebraic expressions 
it is a kind of rule or a system that gives you the number of matchsticks sometimes it can give you uh, any any kind of result you know sometimes it can tell you uh, the number of workers working in a in a in a in an office or the amount of the salary you can get or the total profit any kind of relationship you can form with the algebra you know algebra makes your life very very easier in practical life algebra can help you a lot every time it will help you whether you're going to to uh, to buy uh, notebooks or you're going to buy you know some books in the in the store or you're going to buy some CD music anything everywhere algebra works all right and I'm gonna give you more and more examples that we use in our, our daily life all right and then you will learn algebra how it is important in in our our day-to-day -day life okay and then you learn more uh, what is algebra okay so we're gonna learn this theoretical thing as well as the the the, the thing that we we use in every day as algebra all right now I want to talk uh, about the algebraic expressions okay let's let's uh, say for a while so number of matchsticks we needed we give that by the 2n rule okay so here this n is the variable okay and this whole thing I will say this is algebraic expression the more example of algebraic expression um, uh, let's say 2n minus 3 2n plus 5 or let's say 45 n divided by mm, 7 so you know in algebraic expression always you will see uh, a number definitely you'll see a number one or more than that and the same time you will also see uh, arithmetic operations like this is subtraction this is addition this is division and the same time if you see here you know there is multiplication sign too we're just not writing that that but that means uh, there is a multiplication sign okay so all the time you know remember that there will be numbers okay in an algebraic expression then there will be arithmetic operations like plus minus uh, multiplication division and of course there will be some variables variables will be in the form of alphabet okay so always consider these three things uh, mostly you'll see in an algebraic expression let me give you some more example just tell me whether this is an algebraic expression or not okay 5 m n plus y is this of course this is an algebraic expression you know why because this 5 is a number these are alphabets maybe these are variables alright and there are operations of course uh, arithmetic operations uh, sometimes you'll get like 3ab divided by uh, 5 uh, any anything you know 5 you can say let's say CD you know so these, these all are uh, algebraic expression okay uh, uh, sometime you will see maybe you know like let's say 3ab uh, times 5cd okay so uh, let me tell you some more thing uh, this is division right this can be also written something like this 3ab divided by 5cd and like like here 3ab times 5cd sometimes even you won't see this you know they will directly write by multiplying this you know so 15 a b c d okay I mean to say if you see in future 2m times n or 2m times n or 2m times n or simply if you see 2mn these all mean same thing okay there are so many different ways to express the same thing in a different different way right this thing 2m times n or you can say 2m dot n 2m times bracket n 2m multiplication n 2mn these all are same and these all are examples of uh, these all are examples of uh, different different algebraic expressions okay sometimes even you'll see like this um, x times y sometimes people simply write x y okay sometimes they'll write x y sometimes they'll write x times y okay and uh, let me tell you some more thing uh, after the multiplication you know whatever the result you'll get you know this thing I um, mean the, the final result these are called product okay in algebra uh, these 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 are called product okay and the quantity that is being multiplied are called 
factors okay and more and more we're gonna learn in another presentation uh, I think the video is getting longer I believe you understand what is variables and algebraic expressions um, if you have any more doubt or any confusion then please feel free to comment in the comment section below next regulation is here don't forget to subscribe to this channel and catch me on Facebook as well as on Twitter